This gameplay video is brought to you by very generous patron Shuffles. Nissa versus Valdruk with a one lander struggling to get into lands in this deck for some reason. So we'll mulligan that gets us into a two lander. Yeah, Dryad Arbor doesn't feel good there. That's going to be a slow one, but we'll keep it. We are on the play at least, so get down the Mosswalk Bridge first. And we'll try to get out... Hmm. It's in the late game, so maybe the Eternal Witness is going to be more relevant. Basilisk Collar from our opponent. We draw into Scavenging Goose, get down the Dryad Arbor, which will come in with Summoning Sickness, so can't go for the three visits. I stopped running Dryad Arbor with the Green Sun Zenith because... Yeah, it can hurt you more often than it doesn't in times like this. And uh, yeah, with the format getting even faster than it already was, this is an old deck for anyone who doesn't know. And uh, yeah, I think it might be time to remove Dryad Arbor from this one. Not seeing any burn, thankfully. A Mask of Memory. We'll see that the Dryad Arbor survives. <laughs> draw into the Great Aurora. So hopefully we can draw into a land next turn. Because then we'll be able to go for the Sky Shroud claim. It's three visits this time though. Valdruk into play. Okay, no land for us. Extra planar lens, pretty useless with this board state as well. We'll just play out the Fierce Guardianship to chump their commander. And I think I'd like to go for... Hmm, Cogler might not be any use once it finally hits play. We're going to have to swing in with it in order to blow up the artifacts. And that's going to be a bit too slow, so I'll just go for the Woodland Bellower. It can fetch the Rex Age. Mask of Memory being thrown onto their commander, as is the Basilisk Collar. So it now has Death Touch and Life Link, Making a couple of 3-1 Elementals, thanks to the two equipments that are on there. So we'll just chump block the commander. Alright, a Cultivate will get into lands one way or another. Going to have to take another big hit from the Valdruk, unfortunately. But we are in the multiplayer room, so we start at 40 life as opposed to 30. At the end of our turn, they cycle a Forgotten Cave. Hellrider into play. And they do make the tokens before combat, so the tokens do trigger the Hellrider. We get pinged for 4, and then eat 3, 6, 12 damage. They've played out a Honed Kopesh as well, drawing back into the Road of Return. So we'll play out the Sky Shroud Claim here, I think, and then maybe go for our commander. Obviously haven't played a land yet, so drop the land into play. That will flip our commander around, and we'll make a Shire. They might get distracted away from our life total by swinging in at the Nyssa. Now playing at Cliffhaven Kite Sail, which will give something flying, so... Yeah, so much for the Shire. Still could distract their attacking at our life total, though. So now this thing has Flying Death Touch and Life Link. It is a 4-3. <laughs> playing out the Black Blade Reforged as well. Can't quite equip that. So, yeah, maybe should have just left the... Honed Kopesh off and gone for the Black Blade Reforged instead because could have dealt a lot more damage to us there. Okay, and they went for a Braid onto the Dryad Arbor, taking us down a mana, making four Elemental Tokens. A couple of Elementals swinging at Nyssa, so she's definitely going down. And we get to block and destroy the Hell Rider here, then deciding to pull it back, which is definitely what they should do. So Nyssa's going back into the Command Zone. Oh, Nyssa actually went down to the Hell Rider, so we just block one of the Elementals there, we go down to 5. Mask of Memory triggers, they draw 2 and discard 1. Okay, and draw into a land, that could make all the difference here, so... If we play out the extra Planar Lens, we'll have 10 mana available to us. So let's do that, get rid of a tapped land. Might as well try and take our opponent down by a permanent, as well as hit them for 4 damage potentially. So I'll take them down by four, they don't block with the Hell Rider. So the Great Aurora, we've got one mana floating. We'll put all the lands into play. Our opponent has 15 cards in hand to our 13. Actually don't have all that incredible a hand there, annoyingly. Name Elf with the Cavern of Souls. Like I said, we've got one mana floating, that is a roadside reliquary. So they've got six mana available to them. So the question is, are they going to get into haste or not? Yeah, I think we just really need to try and accelerate ahead of them, so we'll go for the Zendikar Resurgent. And if they've got haste here, then so be it. Drop in another land. We've got 36 lands in this deck, and like I said, I've played this deck a few times in this play session, and uh, I haven't had the best of luck getting into them myself. The mono-red player doing better on lands than the green deck is. 
Getting down their Valkup. We'll see if they've got a Lightning Greaves. Well, they've got a Shuko. And a Simeon Sling as well. That is an equipment. So they managed to make one Elemental Token. Taking us down to two. So let's see if we can do anything here. A <laughs> Mana Reflection is funny. First play out the Elder Gargaroth. That is going to potentially gain us life. And draws us into a land. Play out the Great Henge for three mana. And we'll gain some life from that as well. Play Prowling Serpapard. That draws us into Wood Elves. So I'll play another Chump Blocker, a Wood Elves. Gets us into Genesis Wave. Draws us a card from the Great Henge as well. Untap Land comes in with Wood Elves. Okay, drawing into another land. So play out the Forest. And I think we'll just go for Beast Within onto their Commander. Managed to buy ourselves another turn here, I think. Have to make sure to not let them go through to the beginning of combat. They play Cliffhaven Kite Sail. Managed to get into that again apparently. We do have a Reacher in the Elder Gargaroth. Automatically equips itself to the commander. Harmonic Prodigy is going to double up the triggers on this thing because it is a Shaman apparently, which I never realised. Now playing Swiftfoot Boots will make them equip that. Prowess triggers on the Prodigy. So they go down a mana. That is time for Beast Within onto the commander. So hopefully they don't have Deflecting Swat or anything like that. They do not, so successfully managing to buy ourselves another turn. Shuko goes on to the Prodigy. Swiftfoot Boots on there as well. Alright, and with our floating mana we'll go Worldly Tutor now. That can just be a Voring Clex, I think. Because then we can dump a lot of mana into X on a Genesis Wave maybe. Might just go for Ugin and say X is 2 to minus down on that. Then we can still hold up Cross and Grip for that Swiftfoot Boots. Not swinging in at us, as you would expect. So, obviously drawing into the Voring Clex. This will freeze our opponent's lands, and that draws us a couple of cards. It doubles up our mana again. Uh, Voring Clex comes down with a plus counter, so that's an 8-7 with Trample. Draws us into Woodfall Primus and a land. So, play the land. Each of our lands now taps for three. So, might as well go for the Mana Reflection. That gives us more mana, so each land taps for 4 here. So there we can go Ugin. Minus X can be 2. Pretty much gets rid of all their stuff, apart from that Swiftfoot Boots we're still worried about. So then swinging with everything, the Elder Gargaroth does have Vigilance. So we will gain 3 life to that. Go back up to 9. Okay, and our opponent just decides to scoop. That's surprising. Um, I don't know how much their commander would have cost there. Maybe... Three, four, five, six, seven. So maybe they just had to tap out into their commander. I think it only would have cost them five. And then they could have gone swift foot boots. Maybe the kite sail as well. Definitely could have equipped that. Um, yeah, maybe they were just tapping out into their commander. And didn't fancy their odds of getting through to us. Really didn't think we were going to win that one. But that's why you don't quit early. Just about managed to claw it back, thankfully. I'm Travel Kai. Thank you for watching.